You'll notice on the inside of this shell, there's a cargo containment rail with rings and quick clips. What we like to do is hang soft items, they're not particularly heavy, and keep the items that, again, emergency items that you need to get to in a hurry or quickly accessible from here at the rear of the vehicle. For example, here we have a first aid kit hanging right there. Easy to take off, deploy, it's visible for anyone. Trauma kit. Major injury, bleeding, you need to get to this very quickly. So it's quick, accessible, it's well labeled, you can see what these things are. Other smaller items that we might be convenience items that we use on a regular basis would be soap and a towel if we had to stop. If we did have a medical emergency, we'd want to quickly wash up before we put on our latex gloves. Or if we were making a roadside repair or doing a recovery, we would need to clean up easily afterwards. Notice they may jostle around a little bit inside here, but they're not heavy, hard items that are going to cause any damage. Soft-sided storage bags are a great way to store items that you need to get to to move easily on a regular basis. However, do not contain heavy, hard, dense, bulky items. In the case of this vehicle, some light food items are stashed in the side compartments here in these soft bags. So, items like pasta and rice and things that are not particularly heavy are on these removable clips. So this clip allows you to detach this bag and move the bag to the outside of the vehicle where the kitchen operations happen. And there's a matching rail on the outside of the vehicle where you can hang this and you can keep the bag off of the ground and away from the critters. Another bag is stored here and this is what we call the personals bag. It's like the toiletries bag, but it's not your toothbrush and, and your comb. What it is, is it, it contains your number two bags, which are your dry chemical toilet bags for handling humid waste. Uh, it contains toilet paper. It contains a number one bag, which is for handling urine in, in, a, in a gel format. It also contains uh, additional feminine needs that need to be readily accessible. This same bag in an extended camp can be pulled off of the rail and moved outside and hung where it would be more convenient where the, the pet toilet would be used. On the other side of the shell, we're hanging a few items that we don't need to get to all that often, but they're lightweight and it would be more convenient if they were kept in a movable pouch. In this particular bag, we hold our folding solar panel, which is very light, soft, and flexible, only weighs a pound. We have some bungee cords for affixing it to the awning when, when we do deploy it. We have additional power cords. We have a small inverter for charging camera batteries, radio batteries. And so this bag, if we need it, we can pull it out. This is a void area that we want to make good use of. However, if we put hard cabinetry in here, we, or we had some sort of hard storage that was permanently affixed, it would make accessing the mechanicals of our water system down in here more difficult. But if we need to do a quick service or evaluate something on our water system, we just remove the... And we pull the bag out, very easy, and now we have access to all of our mechanicals here. Continuing along the lines of storage solutions for lightweight items that you need to access quickly, cargo netting is very effective. We use the same cargo track here. For example, this is the throne of the pet toilet system. This is something that you might need to get to in a hurry, possibly, if you had a bad meal in a third world country. So, having a cargo net holds it in place, but it's easy to pull out and deploy. As opposed to having this buried somewhere in your cargo storage, you want to be able to get to this quickly. Also, this netting can be used in a variety of different ways. One of the beauties of using cargo track and using these different modular systems 
is as your needs change, as the type of expedition changes, you can change out what items you're going to hang in these places. In the application of having a shell or a cap on top of a pickup truck in order to create an expedition habitat, there are some items that you don't need to get to very frequently. So it allows you to have containers that are rather tall load from the top and are deep. You wouldn't need to access these items unless you were deploying the shell. And in this particular case, we carry our bedding, which we're not going to use until we deploy the shell. And secondly, we carry what we call our heavy tools and parts. In the event that you break down, we like not to rush into things. As my partner says, he, he likes to say we should make a cup of tea before we get too involved in this project. So our thought process is that we're going to be stopped. If we're broken down, we're not moving. We have time to deploy, get comfortable, think about what we're going to do, and then open our storage. And this is a deep storage. Here's my bedding. Here's laundry soap. Believe it or not, I carry laundry soap. You'd be surprised how often you can't find it on the road. And then down deep inside here, the separate compartments that contain tools and parts and all the things that we need in order to keep this vehicle running. But notice they're all compartmentalized. So in the event that I break down, I remove this box, take it outside to the affected area and work on it. So all of these things are now staying down low, keeping the center of gravity low, in a place that they don't have to access very often. In this vehicle we have another top loading compartment that's adjacent to this deep top loading compartment however it's shallow. The entire cabinet is shaped like a big L. In this shallow part of the cabinet we store things that we need to access from bedside. In my particular case I sleep with a CPAP device that keeps me breathing at night. That device I keep in this compartment down here so I can open this up from the bed and just pull it out. I also keep a 12 volt fan in here for hot nights, keep the air circulating inside the tent, and I keep a few other little comfort items and little bags. Good reading material. Notice the cabinet has a latch. It won't pop open while it's moving down the road, but it's easy to access and open. Those are key features that you want to look for. This vehicle system was designed to support two people for 10 days in an off-highway environment, pursuing outdoor recreational activities such as hiking, photography, and fishing. It does it well in a very compact format. These are the types of systems that are available from AT.